Well, following the tornadoes that hit Logan County in March, numerous organizations and agencies have been working to help residents recover from the damage. The two groups, Basic Legal Equality and Legal Aid of Western Ohio, are now joining forces to help residents navigate through any legal troubles that they're having. City News reporter Grace Hewitt was at the Legal Aid Assistance meeting tonight and is following up with attorneys about the resources available to those in need. Residents here in Logan County gathered for free legal information here at Lulu's on the Lake to learn more and know their rights when it comes to insurance, housing and tenants. We see you, we hear you and we want to try to help. Just a month after an EF3 tornado devastated Logan County, attorneys are helping residents figure out the legal side, dealing with insurance claims and property disputes. Effects from the trauma of it all and the experiences and also having that affect their loved ones and their family members. And so to be able to do anything that we can do on the legal side to help them make this process um, transition uh, better um, just means the world to, I know, our two agencies. And not only are they helping with those insurance claims, the Rocco says they want to warn residents to not fall victim to contractor scams. Reputable roofers and contractors won't come out in the middle of the night and they won't need to solicit your business um, uh, by knocking on your doors. Um, someone pry on you when you're in this desperate state about uh, trying to, you know, take more advantage of you, take your money for a faulty roof or a faulty contractor or um, uh, not be honest or reputable um, is just, it's awful. Although there's requirements, Legal Aid of Western Ohio says educating residents on their legal rights is what matters most to them. They do have to be low income individuals in order to receive our assistance um, and meet a criteria. But if they meet those criteria, then we do want to be able to assist them with legal help. For more information about services and resources, you can head to our website at WDTN.com and click on this story. Reporting in Russell's Point, Grace Hewitt, 2 News.